the start now. The other speakers have really got me thinking creatively, which I think is the purpose of the conference, to get people sort of inspiring each other. To share your story, to share your own passion with others, and hopefully you learn from others and you rub some of your own enthusiasm onto others. I think it's been great being in the conference. What struck me was every place that I went to to see these telescopes, the astronomers and cosmologists are in search of a certain kind of silence, whether it's silence from radio pollution or light pollution. And it was very obvious that if we destroy these silent places on Earth, we will be stuck on a planet without the ability to look outwards because we will not be able to understand the signals that come from outer space. Thank you. You have the power to change the world. Inside each person in the room is the single most powerful device known to man, and that's an idea. An idea can create a movement, and it can rewrite our future. I live in the world of technology, and, and so uh, you know I've seen that. So, but this is this is great. The local innovations, I think, those for me were some of the most uh, powerful. This is a police photo. That's actually my car. And the situation is that a car full of paramedics on their way home from the hospital after work have run across the wreckage and they've advised the police that there are no survivors inside the car, that the driver's dead, uh, that I'm dead. I'm still kind of speechless right now from the sessions that just happened, which is so inspiring that I was pulling out a pencil and writing down notes. I must say it's a very different conference from the usual ones. And as I said, interacting with people has been the highlight so far. <laughs> Timeless. Timeless. That is very, very important. She's stupid because she's dressed in pink. Uh, three months later, she's stupid because she's, she's dressed in green. And three months later, she's a monster because she wears fur. And six months later, she's stupid because she don't wear fur. It's out. This is how my grandma would tell it. She'd go, no, Linda, there is a vampire named the Aswang from the Philippines. It's a lady vampire. At night, she takes her legs off. She flies over to our house. She climbs the wall, goes over your bed puts her tongue down to suck your blood because you don't pick up your clothes. I mean, everybody in the audience is just as interesting as the people on stage. So there's a sort of equality where everybody just wants to meet each other and share ideas. I'll be back, I know that. You know, as we say in America, hit the ball out of the park. It's been great. <laughs>